Hey MJ, we're in this cool exchange video game store, and they got and you're tra tra trading a bunch of your old stuff. And no, they, I'm trading in my old CDs and DVDs. There are no games CD. I want to trade in. I'm keeping all my games. And look at this. They've got all these classic um, Sega games. Um, and a lot of them have good prices. Do not have any Tetris games? Look at that, like that Pac-Man World, two dollars. I could buy that. Like Great Mart, um, Home Alone games. It's funny they have Home Alone games for like Nintendo, Super Nintendo, and Sega. Like the first one, it's it's you know in the second one. And and these Super Nintendo well, games. Have this one cool spot. The Super Nintendo games. Yeah. There's a Home Alone there. Look, you yeah, don't I told see. You. Yeah, you don't see the Home Alone for that system much. Look at the red cartridge. And for Doom. the classic Super. I mean, no, regular Nintendo. They got a, a big selection of these. Oh, look, here's the biggest one of all time Super Mario Brothers um, slash Duck Hunt. God, I have, I and they even have, they have these systems. These systems. Oh, N64. I never really got into that one as much. And they have yeah. lots of DVDs they in have here, like too. They have more Mario games than any, any other ones. Oh, look, it's the controller the Ghostbusters use in Ghostbusters 2 to pile the Statue of Liberty. It's that, you know, that big NES advan advantage controller. Look, the oh classic God. Atari systems. Look, the games. original Pac-Man, the very first original Pac-Man, Atari, two ninety nine. If they had the um, system, when you just the, buy, when you just buy it. I think my old, the old system I had was too old and it, like yeah, it got all dusty and old, and I had to get rid of it. But I think I at really some point I did have it. I, th I think I remember. Here's game. Here's another yeah, Pac-Man. Pac I, I wonder if they have Tetris here. I, for, I don't even. I don't know if I ever had Tetris for. Um, Atari. Was oh, it on Atari? I don't know. We're recording this video in a bit of a higher quality to see if it looks different for the internet. It's a different setting. I know they must, I know they must have had some sort of Bomberman game for Atari. Those I know those it, didn't, classic it didn't start on Nintendo. You, you don't see Atari much. It's cool to see it. Yeah, it was one of my favorite systems when I had it. Like, when I first bought it, I'm like, oh, it's one of those, you know, even back then, it's like, oh, it's one of those fad systems, you know what I mean? But it's like, are those fad things, but, you know, I didn't know video games would be the way they are and stuff, so... And look at these DVD sections in here. Look at all this. This goes on all the way to the back. And if you can't find something used and old here, you, you're not looking in the right used and old store. I know. And they have decent prices on stuff like, um, like five ninety nine, like a lot less than like a lot of other places are. Boy, Kumar. Do you remember Haunted Mansion? Does anybody remember Haunted Mansion with Eddie Murphy? No, look at this weird movie, Finding North. If only it was North with, you know, Elijah's Wood. Look well, at that, Elijah's Woods. Oh, here's a hitch with Will Smith. That's like one of the only Will Smith movies I've never seen. The one I'm really excited to see, that new one he's coming out with, Hancock, the one where he's a, Watch your language. a superhero. No, his name's Hancock. Watch your language, young man. His name is Hancock. Just please watch your language. That's the guy's name. People, you, know, you know, people who can't handle language like that could be watching this. Armed Fine. When it comes to theaters, don't blame me when they're saying it all over the TV. Armed and dangerous. Sex. And that, the that's a John mind. Candy one. You don't like. You don't hear about that one much. Yeah, that's like one of the few ones I haven't seen. I don't even. With, with Meg Ryan. Oh, that was Susan Sarandon with Goldie Hawn. Look, it's like the double team. I don't know. It's like when we mentioned. I didn't even remember they were both in this movie together. Yeah, that was I mean, like that thing when they came back and like. I didn't even remember that they did this when we were talking about it. We were so. Uh, here's more. Let's show them that they still have some VHS. This is like a newer, like, um... The Banger Sisters. Yeah, this is this almost like revised, like, what year did this come out? Um, like Thelma and Louise, almost. That's sort of what it was. Yeah, it's like, I never actually saw this one. I wanted to. Yeah, it just screamed, like, Thelma and Louise for a, for a different Now come over here, MJ. Let's Black show... Sheep, Chris Farley. I want, I want to show them how they still have a few VHS. Well, they do, yeah. I, I couldn't sell any of my VHS. Well, a lot of them are still. Well, no, they don't take them. We right. ask them. I asked them before if they take them. They don't. I know. But they've still got a bunch of them. Look, look at them. Still cassette tapes. Mm, probably not. But look, they've got weird ones. So, like, look, Al's Fair. What the fuck is that? Do you know what I mean? Is there anybody in this lives anything else? Lou Ferrigno. And look, here's like these classic tape boxes. Night, Seagal. Night Quest. Oh, the old ones. Let's go on a night. Is that? No, it's not. It's some. Look, oh, Izzy and Izzy and Mo. Izzy and Mo. <gasps> I don't actually recognize. Oh, Rag Raggedy Ann. Raggedy Ann and Friends. Now, please, someone out there told me you remember Raggedy Ann. Well, I remember it. Yeah, I mean, like all these younger people. Remember. You know, Roy Scheider died recently. 
from, from Jaws, you know, Roy Schneider. It was Aww. really sad news. Rest in peace. If I had a drink, I'd be like, this one's to you. Didn't you really like oh, Jaws? I have this one. Yeah. Now, what, what's going on with Glenn Humbug? Do you think we'll ever see Glenn Humbug ever again? Or you think he's, like, like dead and missing? He'll surface one day. He will surface. I wonder if, like, Tom Green is, like, just was a butt to him, or, like, what happened? You think, it's good? You think he doesn't like the way Tom Green's in Here, it? Here's one. Look, here's a classic one. T to was that Teddy Ruxpin? Oh. Aren't those, those like that? Isn't that worthless though without it? Because you have to like put it into the back of the Teddy Ruxpin and it oh talks. My God, I have not seen this in like like almost 20 years. Did you have the Teddy Ruxpin doll that talks? I don't I don't know if I ever did or not. I might have like I think I bought it for like at the time I think I bought it for like a a, my well, cousin, a cousin or one. something, but I never like the Roy actually, story. I think I take I rented these all the these time. These are all um two dollars, so if you want them only two dollars. Yeah, I rented this for my little cousins back, you know, when they were like kids and stuff. Regener generated man. And they got a bunch of like kids DVDs. That's why I bought that double double Toro and Toro in Trouble. I swear, I know I've seen this one. Look at this. This is a good two-pack look. Pippi Longstocking and Matilda. Now we know which one's cooler though. Which one's much better? Pippi Longstocking. Exactly. Watch out, world. Here she, here she comes. comes. A freckled face. Red hair. Girl. 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 Remember we we ran into the guy who played that that like. Well, you know, Pibby's teacher. Oh yeah, the guy who, um, the, like the guy with the, you know, the big muscles, you know, taught her about fruits. And for some reason we didn't realize who he was, and we just kept looking at him going, isn't that an inspiring looking guy? And he said, don't you make you feel like eating salad and fruit or something? And I'm like, yeah, I don't even like salad, so. But now I, real I realize why later, because I looked it up on the internet and realized who he was. They have decent horror stuff. Look at this weird cover for Sleepaway Camp 3. It's like, it must have been from some other country or something. I forgot there was only, I thought there was only one Sleepaway Camp. No. What? Skinner starring Tracy Lords. Hmm. Hmm. What a guy. This kind of looks a little bit like uh, he who must not be named Lord Voldemort from Harry Potter without a mouth. It's like all these different, these, tra did you like these, these remakes? I never actually saw them. I yeah. only saw like the first one and the third one. The only the first one was it worth watching. Sure. Did you say like one of the places, one of those um, ratings actually gave it zero stars? Which one? You, you told me like when it came out. Oh yeah, I think they did. And they also sell CDs in here too. So maybe we'll see you some in Toys R Us, hopefully. I know he said it's the end, but we got a show we just saw. They have classic Sega CDs. Remember that enemy video nerd was talking about them? I don't know if you remember. I wish I had that system. I, they have, like, videos on them? I got to try and find somewhere to buy that again. And, and we looked, and they actually do have an Atari for $50. 49 $45.90, I mean. It all came back to me when I looked at it. I, had, I think I had an organ at the same time that had a similar, like, woodwork to it. Here, this is Sega Saturn. Um, this is Grid Runner. That's this the other one. There was Sega CD, then came Sega Saturn. Yeah, it's funny, like the um, then Dreamcast. My very first PS1 game. Actually, this is one of the first two. This and Crash Bandicoot, my first two PS1 games. It's What's funny is right this area right out here, there used to be that buffet, and we used to when we were over at that terrible school when we made Thursdays, at we used to walk over here and eat. But it's now it's become like a foot doctor or something. <laughs> And over there, they built all this new stuff that there wasn't there we, before. A Best Buy. When we walked over there. Yeah, there was also some area like closer to where I live, where there was like old apartment complexes, and um, now it's all torn down. And now they have a Best Buy there. Which one is actually? Um, I think I had a friend who was up there, and he was, you know, one of those redneck hunter guys. Yeah. It's funny it was how like everyone had all these sorts of, um, you know, they had apartments up there and all that. And I actually spent the night there and stuff. And what's funny is how now it's like there's a Best Buy there. What well, well, should we call this the um, video? The date, and then we'll say the media exchange store, Toys R Us, and seeing, um, no, the toy stores, it's not good to use the store name, and seeing, um, oh yeah, we're seeing Jumper today. Jumper. This is Thursday. Oh yeah, we're seeing Jumper. And listen, people, we do not live together. I'm getting, keep getting those comments oh, saying, saying we live together. Like, listen, we see each other like one to two days a week. We don't live together at the same person's oh, house. Yes, get it clear now. 
And actually, with some of you who like want us to post videos like every single day, if not every three days, that's sort of a clue as to how we don't live together. Is we only post videos every like Friday or Saturday. And sometimes on those days we film like three or four things, and I just put them up over the week. Just because they're getting put up doesn't mean that you're over them. The Bible game. Oh, never mind. I thought this was that one angry video game nerd talked about. That one. No, it was a holiday not. game. Remember that one? Oh no, it's not. The, it's not where, those like, ones. Like, remember that one where Noah has to like pick up the animals and take them all to the ark? Remember that one? Yeah, I do. And it's funny. Remember he was so funny. He's like, this guy's so strong, he puts even the Hulk to shame. And I'm like, oh, no one puts the Hulk to shame. So we'll officially see you um, out at Toys R Us or somewhere next, and hopefully you're going to get good, some sweet moolah for those things you're trading in. Thank you. MJ, what do you got there in that in this Dallas store we're in? Unbelievable. This is actual proof, actual evidence that Britney Spears was once a person. It's like old show that looks in that book. Look, look, see. It's like some back before she became a screw up. Like back when she was a person, see, look. But there's some actual pictures of her here. Just look how young she was. Look, she was like a real person. And now she's just a big screw up. Go to folks that would happen. See, look, she's, it's like in each one, it's like. Like the forest of strings. Look how cool this is. Look at all this stuff. I should do that one day at my, at my house. I should like hang a bunch of these around and walk through it. Look at this. Could be a new what? style. Look at this. Like this is like the watch like a biker or guy a guy who rides bikes would would ride wear in like nineteen ninety six. More it's like more like ninety three. Like more of like what's up? Uh, I never wore watches like this when I rode bikes back then. Look weird technology things, look. Oh, those adapter things, yeah. So like classic stuff we use. Here, here's a cheap cassette tape adapter thing. You could use one of those. I think one got stuck in the in the um, cassette tape. It's still in there. Car. Oh, check it out. It's one of these real easy phones. Focus, you butthole. Look at these tires, MJ, in this unnamed store. I wonder what store this is. I love fresh rubber. Oh. What a weirdo. We're in uh, Toys R Us, MJ. Wow. The first time in, you've been in one. Like, how long has it been since you've been in one? I've been uh, since, like, who knows. Like, remember the one closer to where we live? They turned into Babies R Us. But, like, we were in there, like, two days ago or something. Oh, happy Easter. Oh, today's not Easter. Happy Valentine's Day. Today's Valentine's Day. But, so but when they see this, it's probably been Valentine's Day for, like, two days already, though. Oh, I know. So, so happy Valentine's Day. Something pink, you know. Something, um, they got... It's really, this is like really like a traditional Toys R Us. Look, MJ, the latest, most advanced computers for kids. I wonder if they have Donna Murphy on here. Um, no. Why not? Now, what were you saying before we cut the camera? Oh yeah, we had to um, cut because we were coming near the end of the aisle. Um, we're rolling squeeze cheese. Yeah, we. There's like nothing classic in this aisle. Look at these. No, no, Mad Balls. Oh. Okay. Mad Balls that stick. I was gonna say like this. Um, some of the stuff's cool, some of this is, you know, new crap, but what would make this, one of the things that would make this like a true, like, a truer than true, um, Toys R Us is those aisles, and I'm not just talking like one or two, I'm talking aisles longer, they're like five times longer than this one, this is like, what, 20 feet maybe? Yeah. I'm talking like those 50 feet aisles, like up on the shelf, like aisle after aisle of like five foot stuffed animals, I'm not talking like generic like ponies or like, or like, um, tigers or bears or something, but I'm talking like, you know, characters, like. Mickey Mouse Mini, like the Looney Tunes, Garfield, the Pink Panther, you know, the... Oh, so many interruptions. What were you saying? Sorry, someone like walked in the background. What I was saying was like, you know, the true Toys R Us, I remember back, like I think it was somewhere between 89 to like 92, they had like, um, you know, wall to wall, but come here and look. See this, um, all right, go over there. Mm, just stop, 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 stop. You know what I'm saying film there. This section right there. All right. All the way over here. Look, all the way down there. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. So at least, and I'm talking full aisles that were that long that had like streams upon the shelves of like five foot, and I'm not exaggerating, they were like literally like five foot stuffed animals that were like, you know, those all those characters. And you know, there were, I and not just two, I'm talking like five different aisles at least. Okay. 
So we're back from Toys R Us. We went to the uh, games, the trade-in store, the um, unnamed store, the dollar store, and a bunch of stuff. And then Toys R Us. So, what do you think of Toys R Us after going it's back? A few, a few parts were good. Like I said, it's really a shame because it's after all that. It, it's obvious because it's a shadow of what it once was. It's now like all this. Most of the toys. It's real disappointing. You know, like um, of course they have Xbox and all these new stuff. They don't have like any. Do they have any Sega game or like Super Nintendo games there at all? No. No, at least that, that game exchange place did, which was good. But um, those places are few and far between. I know but, places like that anymore. Yeah, but Toys R Us, like well, a lot of the toys they have there, really aren't that good. Cause remember, they used to have incredible toys, and they used to have like great stuff. Like I said, the wall-to-wall, -wall, like the five-foot stuffed animals, and you know, remember those like three-wheeler like plastic bikes? Those they had all sorts of models. Remember those? Yeah. Three mo and um. You said some bad news today about something. What, what you were just telling me? Oh, that if you want, if the world must know. Yes, um, I own two dogs. Um, actually, one. Um, they're both uh, miniature Schnauzers. There's um, one's a female. She's black. One is a male, and he's like a salt and pepper. That's like a you know a gray with a little bit of white to him. Um, and the male, he's actually like a few about a few months younger than the female. They're both senile and they both gone blind and you know they're having all these problems and the truth is I think to, so later today I'm probably gonna have to go and have him put to sleep because he I think he's like what 11 years old he's about as old as your dog yeah sort of except yours is a different breed so yours is probably in better shape I'm guessing I don't know but yeah but dogs can uh, live to like 15 human if, if not more right so so he's 11 so like 10 so he's seven so he's probably like an 80 something year old man so I mean, one thing people ask is what time is it when we do these right now it's 2.50 p.m. 2.50. And the movie we're seeing today is at 4.40, you said? Something like that. Something. And, and tomorrow, we're going with, now hopefully everything will work out, with um, the actor who plays Dufresne, my co my cousin. The original one. To, the original, to go see um, George Romero's Dire, Dire of the Dead. Of the Dead. And people say it's just Dire of the Dead. No, it's it's actually the full title is George Romero's Dire of the Dead. Yeah, it's, it's an official sequel. It's like, what, his fifth one? It's not like some like piece of shit, you know, like knockoff or one of those bad remakes or something. No, it's an actual true, like, true um, to the series sequel. It's like right after Land of the Dead, which was right after Day of the Dead. So, so it was day. At first, it was dawn. Of the, I mean, no, Night of the Living Dead, Dead End of the Dead, 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 Day of the Dead, Day of the Dead, Land of the Land Dead, Dead. Now, and then the Diary. Diary. This, this is the fifth one. So it's a quadrilogy. And they're making no, 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 it's and, a they're, quintilogy. and they're making a sequel to this one too. So it's going to pick up right after this one ends. The quintilogy. Yeah, it's five. Quint maybe it's five. So we'll, um, we don't want to have this part go on too long. So we'll see you at the see you um, a little later at the theater or something like that. Liz, why am I just sitting here in front of the computer on this damn webcam video all by myself, Murph? Well, because this is our Valentine's Day special. We're not doing a big one. We're just doing a little thing just for the heart of the holiday. A webcam video is not a Valentine's Day video, Murph. That's called cheapening it. That's called roughing it. That's called half-assing it. Well, here um, is something for... Um... Mini track Reese's Pieces! Mm. Thank you, Murph. You're welcome, Don. I hope Murph. you enjoy them. Murph, you're my, Murph, you're my one true love. Aww. I, yeah, I can't think of anyone better to spend Valentine's Day with than you. Happy Valentine's Day, YouTube. Happy Valentine's Day, John McBride. Happy Valentine's Day, Shane Jansen. Um. Happy Valentine's Day, Charlie Sheen. Happy Valentine's Day, director of Wrong Turn 2. Who else should we say, Murph? Happy Valentine's Day to those who long to meet us one day. And happy Valentine's Day to you. <sighs> Were you stuffing that in your pocket again? Yeah, we always do. It was your idea. We couldn't eat there because you spilled that drink all over. I spilled it all over the seat. I spilled this stupid drink all over the damn seat like some kind of a fool. Those guys at Bagel Place, they always call us their amigos. I think they're, we're like, they think we're their friends now. We sort of are. It's kind of like the, the guy in the 7-Eleven where we're friends with them. We've been going in there and like getting bagels from them for like what? The past 10 years? I know, so it's like, they know us, so it's like crap. And what's funny is if they see that, they'll think that girl who walked in is the one who spilled the drink. Years and years ago, there used to be another bagel place around here called like Sam's Bagels. Do you remember that or no?
or something. I think this will be better than the Born Identity and Mr. and Mrs. Smith. You might like it. Well, we did like Shane Jensen and got classic style margaritas at the Chinese place that we go to all the time. We decided just to get it live today. These drinks are a little salty. A little? A little bad. It's like, someone said, why do you always show you show MJ in the videos? It's like, I'm, I like to be more like from my point of view. Yeah, it's like, it's like you're seeing everything you see. You're more photogenic too. I don't like being on the camera as much. I'm more the behind the scenes. Ugh. You know? So we'll see you outside. Salt. Yeah. Bye. Ugh. MJ, wasn't that food terrible? It was. We, we hid some of it behind the seat. We threw some of it back there and hid it. What was your idea? I did that years ago at the Hacienda on a field trip. I never did that. Didn't you say all you had to have when you were at the Hacienda was like the ice cream and the sodas? Didn't that margarita or whatever that was, wasn't that terrible? It was like worse than the Honey Jägermeister. It was real salty and awful. It was like, and then it took forever and we didn't leave a tip. We always tip normally way too much. I know. But this time we tipped nothing. Actually, this was the first time in a long time I paid for the full meal. Like usually we like split it, but this time it's like usually pay with a credit card and, and they would not cut you and I come back and come back. So I just said take your credit card. I just took out a whole bunch of money I just paid for it and I just left and I said, you know, fuck this. We're, we can't, we can, we're not waiting here anymore. This is one of the worst meals we've had in a long time. But I thought the, the jumper was good. I felt like, I thought. Oh, it jumper, seemed, that was great. It seemed like some stuff might have been cut or. Because I thought there was supposed to be like a scene on the moon. Maybe. Let's wait here before, because we'll lose the light. Yeah, but. Um, so even though I thought it was flawless, I even looked over and I'm like, you cannot tell me this doesn't deserve five stars at least. I, I, did, it, at least, you know, it, it was whatever, it was what I would hope it would be. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm thinking it'll do well. It's like hard to know. See, Land of the, I mean, Dire of the Dead is going to do really bad because it's only opening in one theater in Maryland. It's, sad. it's, 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 a, it's like another sequel to a series of some of the greatest films. It should get a lot of views. It's like if only like Universal was making it or something like they did with the other one. Because remember how Land of the Dead had such a huge release? Oh, yeah. It was like everywhere. This one is like getting a real small release. It's like the Bean movies. The first one, you couldn't escape the fact that it was coming out. The second one, it was like a, like a quiet fart. You had to listen real hard to know, know what was coming out. So this video might be like almost like 24, 3 minutes or so. Oh. So it's been a long one, but it's okay. So I hope you all like this video. Thanks. We got some line and kugels. We're not going to show it us uh, this time because we're doing, because you'll see another one of these like in a day or so from um, when we go to see Land of the Dead and stuff. Yeah. So um, well, have thanks an, for watching. Thanks for watching and thanks for all the subscribers. We're almost at 900. 900, pretty soon 1,000. And once again, thanks for actually liking these little video blogs we do. I didn't think people would like them that much. Truthfully, the only stuff I actually watch back, actually not even on the net, I just watch them back on the DVDs we make, is like the actual stuff where we go places. I don't even watch the desk stuff, but apparently you all like it that much, so thanks. And, the, and, and ours are shot on full wide screen, so we watch them and fill a whole TV yeah. with, our, with our mugs. Yeah, we're the only ones who can watch them on TVs because we make them. So, um, thanks for watching and have a good day. Thanks.